Okay. Hopefully it's working. Seems like it's working. Oh, check the lag on the on the other. Oh yeah. Seems like it's feeling better today. It's not real time, but it's way better than last time. Okay, good. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. <laughs> Welcome to another Friday with Mark and Melissa. <laughs> yeah, this is the our Wayne's World intro. And me. <laughs> oh, and May. May's joining us here today. Okay. <laughs> we have failed this twice now. <laughs> yes. We decided to drop another level, right? We're doing it on super yeah, easy. Yeah, the second time we decided it was too hard on normal, so we did it on easy, and we still failed. So now we're doing it on super easy. Which is not in the rule book. <laughs> oh, it isn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're making up our own rules now. We're special. <laughs> I honestly don't know how, we, how you could do this. Like, maybe we have the wrong characters or something. I think that both of us, we like to not, we don't play support characters. We play, like, DPS characters rather than tanky characters. I don't know, you're kind of a tank right now, but only kind of. You're like a fake tank. The problem with the tanking, I mean, I can tank. The problem is we're not able to hit it. Yeah, that's us. a big issue. Um, yeah. So I had a thought while we were setting up that if I got into this corner here behind the the log that I can just send summons outwards. And then when he shows up at either A or E, I can shoot him because I do have a couple of ranged shots. Um, yeah, and then just hang out there and shoot at him every time he gets near. But we have to clear out that harrower first because that harrower has retaliate two and 14 hit points. So we need to shoot him a bunch and then I can go over there. The, do you think this is the right corner? Yeah, I think so because because there's only that one way in except for that E is right there. But we could do what we were trying to do last time and just clog up that area so that he has to spawn further away from E. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, since we reset, do you want to do a city and road event or do you want to just hop into the mission? Um, we might as well do a city and road event because every once in a while we get good stuff. Okay. Right, Sometimes we don't. City event. Number 45. Hey, Ooh. what happened? I have the text now. Oh, what? Do you want to read it or should I? Maybe the guy got um the rights back or something. I don't know, that's super weird. Do you want to read it and then I'll read road of it? Or sure. Vice you there, person? stop. You turn to see a city guard walking briskly toward you. You are known associates of this woman. Yes, he holds up a crude sketch of the scoundrel. Hey, that's my previous character. <laughs> <laughs> we believe she is behind a number of high profile robberies and demand that you give us any information you have on her whereabouts and activities. His face softens a bit. Look, I know you guys do a lot of good for the city, but the merchant guild is breathing down my neck on this one, and I could really use a lead. Option A, cooperate with the guard and tell him everything you know. Or option B, be as vague and unhelpful as possible, giving no useful information. Apparently, you've been um, doing bad things during your retirement. <laughs> I think that we're lawful good still, right? So we have to do option A. Well, but aren't we uh, loyal to our party? I guess not. But, but don't paladins rat? Aren't they rats? <laughs> aren't they snitches? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess the question is, how are are we loyal? Maybe we're not loyal. Maybe we didn't I, even know each other. I feel like I feel like we didn't know each other well, but like we recruited ourselves. Like, hey take over you can be the next dread pirate roberts 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is. I guess we'll uh, rat her out. It's my character, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're ratting her out. The guard taps his notes with a smile on his face. This is great, he says. I understand that you haven't seen her in a while, but the information you've provided should still be useful. Have a nice day. Gain one reputation. Ooh, I think we were already at full reputation, though. Yeah, we're at full reputation, so that didn't do anything for us. Bummer. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, road event? Yes. Hey, the text is here, too. Number 15. 15. I feel like we've done this one before, maybe. We'll see. I think we, we probably have. Yep. You are walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulls your gaze to the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of red birds flying southward. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one down to make a meal. Option A, shoot at the birds. Option B, let the birds pass. I don't remember what we've done. I think we always leave them be. Should I think we we've had this twice and just let yeah. it be. Don't shoot the birds. May doesn't think we should shoot the birds. Don't? OK. We'll let them be. OK. Continue to not shoot the birds. No effect. The shot would be difficult and you prefer not to waste the arrow. You simply move toward your destination. OK. OK, so that was like a totally useless two events. <laughs> Oh, we got to do the these guys. I'm actually surprised that the app doesn't have the ability to do these. Can you feel that? Yes, I did. Why do I smell so shaky? Because it's really old. Well, I haven't it smoked yet. Because even though it's old, it's still sturdy. So we're going to do difficult. Bert Macklin questions. just walked by. What? <laughs> I said Bert Macklin just walked by, but he denies it. <laughs> yes, level two, because level two. we are very weak or something. Hey, we're going to have to close the door, I think. Some of these are so easy. I look at them and I'm like, why don't I ever get that one? I could get the so many check marks. I always get ones that are like impossible for my character to do. Maybe I don't shuffle well enough. Maybe. Well, we have to actually succeed the scenario too. Yeah, that's also true. We've been failing at scenarios quite a bit. It's like the return of the beginning. In the beginning, we failed a lot, and then we figured out how to play better, and then we were doing great, and then we got to the hard stuff again. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going with this one. I like that we show them to the screen as though anybody is watching these. <laughs> viewers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right where do you want to start then so i was gonna closer to yeah i was gonna start on that one that's like as if, if unless you want it as close to that corner as possible this one right here yeah these are the same distance i think okay but he's gonna show up at a although i guess you want to be closer to him in case he gets that special one because you don't want him to move as far, right? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Okay, so we're going to rush in there as fast as we can, right? Yeah, I think so. And wail on him or something. Oh, 
Oh, I could do that. That would be interesting. I think I will do that. Do what? I'm not going to say because I'm not supposed to tell ahead of time. Do you want, I guess you want the corner, not me. Um, I was gonna run into the corner because I I don't have much melee. Like my summons are my melee. So I was gonna like run into that corner. Although then I'm like right next to that guy. So I don't know if I really wanna run into that corner actually. I don't know. Well, I usually have lower initiative than you. So usually he'll try to hit me if I'm next to him too. That's true. But mm, the problem is, is he's right there too. So I can't summon. I have to summon first and then run rather than the other way around. We have to, maybe we have to entice him out of the corner so that we can, so that there's more room in there and we can get in. Maybe. Actually, that's not a bad thought. How many spaces am I from him? What if instead of doing what I was going to do, I do this other thing? Yes, yes. I'll still keep that one. OK. Yeah, I like that idea better. Because otherwise, it was probably going to end up being a wasted summon where I like summon this dude and he just is like left out to dry and everybody killed him. All right, I have 18. OK, I have 32. Dude. Um, okay, the harrowers go first. They have attack of attack and range. They're not gonna move. He has a range oh. of three. We're out of range, so he's not gonna shoot us. The That's good because he also has muddle. Yeah. So both the harrowers do nothing. The rider appears here and does number two, which is Move three, summon an imp, and attack minus one. At least it's only three plus X now instead of four or five plus X. Yeah. So he's going to move two. Yep. Summon an imp. Do we get to choose where? Has to be next to one of us, right? Yeah. Probably between us, right? Right here. Yeah, I would guess. If I were the guy, that's what I would do. Yeah. Um, and then attack me. He moved two spaces. So three plus two minus one. So four. four, four. Yeah. And draws a negative one. So it hits me for three. Uh, I'm gonna activate my chainmail immediately. So he, <laughs> he hits me for two. Okay. Um, and then disappears. Blink. Oh right. Jerk. He's such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> and now it's my turn. Why couldn't he man? <laughs> Use that protect me. <laughs> I, I'm going to move three. One, two, three. Shield up. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's see. What are the wasps or the imps going to do? Ew. Oh. So I kind of want to be next to him because I want to force him to move. The imp. I don't know. Or be at disadvantage. Or is he just going to shoot you? He's just going to shoot, shoot me. You. He's going to shoot me. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. I move three, shield up, and then I throw on a retaliate. I retaliate two now, but also okay. my one from all, all my attacks from now on. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to go one, two. 
not all the way into the corner because I don't want disadvantage. And then I'm going to shoot this guy for three and a pierce. He doesn't have a shield, so it doesn't matter. For three, plus one for four. So that guy takes four damage. And he does not retaliate because I'm not next to him. Good job. OK. The okay. Earth Demons move one. So this guy just moves one, I guess. This guy moves one. Yeah. Do they only make a green thing appear if they attack, or do they just make it appear anyways? I think they just go in order. So I think they do make the green thing appear. Yeah, I think so, too. OK, so there's a green thing. Um, the imps move to attack three, range three. So this guy just shoots me. Mm -hmm. He draws a minus one. So that would be attack of two. Minus one for the chainmail, minus one for nothing. Oh, yeah, for the shield. So attack of zero. OK. Um, this imp moves two over like that, I guess. Yep. This imp moves two, I guess, next to the bush. Mm -hmm. And then this imp, one, two. Probably right. this way, yeah, right next to the yeah. demon. And we're out of range. range of three. One, two, three. So shoots me. Oh, shoot. At minus one. So that's two. And I, I still have the shield and my chain mill. So attack zero. OK. Uh, next turn. I know who has range to do that guy. Retaliate sucks. Oh, that's <laughs> bad. Probably really dumb. <laughs> it might be okay though, because a lot of times when you say this might be really dumb, it goes great. And when you say like I'm gonna do this amazing thing, and then you whiff. So um <laughs> I have to say this this might be really dumb every time then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have 32. <laughs> I have 55. Okay, the harrowers move first. Oh, they're going to poison. Ugh, I hate that. Oh, but they give me the. The darkness symbol. Yeah, I have a thing. I have a couple of darkness symbols that are of places where darkness symbols are good. OK. Anyways, he doesn't have to move. He's going to hit me for two and try to poison me. And he draws a plus one. So he hits me for three and a poison. I think I still have this shield up. So he hits me for two in a poison. And you retaliate, right? Yes. So he takes two damage. The last one where he got there is. And I have poison. Oops. I accidentally killed myself. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> poison. Wrong icon. There we go. <laughs> Um, <laughs> on round two. Move two between the bush and the log okay uh and now it's my turn he poisoned me 
That's not good. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, the dark symbol. I'm going to use this one adjacent ally may perform an attack four. So you can make an attack four. Is it ranged or no? Not ranged. OK, so then I guess I whack this guy for four plus zero. He dead. He dead. Oh, I never spawned him. So <laughs> <In the app. laughs> I only spawned him on the board. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, like he never existed. <laughs> the other thing is going to be attacking him for four. Okay. Uh, and causing a sun symbol to appear. Let's see if I hit him first, actually. I feel like we don't do enough with the symbols. Like, there's probably a whole set of strategies related to the symbols that we're not doing. Well, I have a whole bunch of effects that eat up sun symbols. Oh, okay. I can't spawn some symbols. I spawn or whatever. I inspire darkness and fire. Yeah, darkness and fire. Apparently, I'm a demon. I don't know. I didn't realize it was a demon. <laughs> I drew a plus zero, which is kind of amazing because, <laughs> you know, because I thought I would draw a whiff. Um, Did you hear that? Oh, good, because that was really loud. There's a lot of people with like historic cars around here and diesel engines, and they love to hit the, the hill at the base of our property and just like rev the engine all the way up the hill. I don't know, who do you think they're impressing because I'm just done. <laughs> Maybe their old cars just have to do that to get up the hill. <laughs> Maybe? It seems to happen more often than, I don't know. Uh, maybe they maybe they just need that, like it, it's making them happy, so I shouldn't judge them, but it's really loud, like really loud. It's okay though. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Nothing that, that I'm, I'm happy I drew a zero, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so anyways, I hit him for four, but it's minus one because I have this ability out, so it's three. Okay. And, and then he I'll hits you. Yeah, I cause a sun thing and he retaliates me for two points. So I'm down to 14, I think. Yeah, that's what I've got for you. And he's down to five. Yep. And that's it. And now the dark rider appears. What's the headless horse's name? Does he have a name? I don't think so. He's just the headless, or I think it depends on whether you're reading the original or you're like watching the movie, because I think that they gave him a name in, because he was the Hessian in the movie. In the? Not the Disney movie. The one with a, Johnny Depp. There's a TV show with. um. Oh, there is? Yeah, there's a TV show called Sleepy Hollow. Oh, yeah, I don't know his name in that. He was Christopher Walken, though, in the Johnny Depp movie. With like filed down teeth to make him extra creepy. That's creepy. <laughs> okay. Anyways, he appears and moves three. One, two, three, I guess, next to the bush. I think so. And then he whacks the air. Yeah, he hits the bush. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a head. It must be hard to. <laughs> he thinks the bush is one of us and he whacks it. He locks <laughs> off. <laughs> he... He uh, he's actually a, a um, landscaper on the side. <laughs> he's very confused. He needs this. It's a seeing eye horse. Right. It's a yeah. He's a he's apprenticing under Edward Scissorhands, so he's just treating the bush as a topiary and. <laughs> <laughs> Too um, far. <laughs> okay. Canon accepted, but <laughs> the imps, um, they move three. E. So this guy doesn't need to move because he's in thin range of me, so he just shoots me. Yeah. For two. For he three, because you're poisoned. One. He draws a minus one, so that's one. But because I'm poisoned, it's two again, um, and I don't have shield up anymore. Ooh. This is what happened last time. Well, I'm going to use my tower shield. When damaged by an attack, gain two shield. So minus two. So zero. 
<laughs> and then um, this guy moves. Let's see, how far away are you? One, two. He only has to move one space. To shoot me? Yep. Yeah. So At least I'm not poisoned. He draws a plus one, so three points. That's fine. I can take it. Who's the guy I spawned? Because I forgot to kill him here. This guy's dead. Okay. Um, this guy moves three. One, two, three. And shoots me. Yep. Sad. Draws a plus zero, so two points. Okay. And not your turn. Okay, so I am going to summon my slime spirit into onto E. So, what color is that green? And he's got. Four, three, one, and the shield. Okay. And then um, he's going to perform an attack plus zero with me controlling the actions. So he is going to hit the harrower um, for one. Oh, and a green symbol and a whiff. Never mind. He's not hitting at all because he's terrible. Um, so I guess if he whiffs, he doesn't get retaliated against, does he? I don't think so. Okay. That's cool. I was hoping to muddle the harrower, but oh well. And that's my turn. It was a terrible turn. <laughs> the earth demons move and attack, but they're not, I mean, they move zero and attack. We're, they're not within range, so they do nothing, basically. Okay. And next round. I feel like maybe I should heal myself because of the stupid poison. No, we should kill this harrower because he might poison me again. Yeah. Okay, I have 48. I have 45. The harrowers are shielding up, and now they have range retaliate. Mm. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> the imps are going to move three, attack one, range three, target two, and curse. Yikes! This is... Okay, so this guy moves forward one onto A so that we're both within range. He shoots both of us and curses both of us if he hits. Yeah. Okay, so me first. He draws a plus zero, so that's one point of damage. Um, I'm poisoned, so that's two points of damage and a curse, correct? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay, so I'm down to 12 and a curse. We're going to have to read cheats again. This guy, yeah, we're going to have to read strategies for this. This guy shoots you, draws a plus zero, so one point of damage and a curse. OK. This guy moves forward one space and does the same thing. So shoots you, whiffs. OK. Shoots me at minus two. So does one minus two, which is negative one, plus one for the poison is zero. So it does zero, but does curse me. So you got double cursed. Yeah. Oh, there's then, still one more. Yeah, there's still one more. So he's going to move forward one space so that we're both within range and do the same thing. So shoot you first, plus zero. So one point of damage and a curse and shoots me at plus one. So that's three points of damage because I'm poisoned and a curse. So I'm now at nine and another curse. 
And now it's your turn. All right. So this is fun. This I guy's love this game. Can you hit the guy? Can I hit which guy? The writer, the dark writer. Um, I can if I abandon everything else I was planning to do. No. Oh, well, I mean, we're trying to kill him. That is true. What's he going to do? He's going to move, attack. Oh, he's going to shoot us. So he's not disappearing this turn. OK. I am going to abandon what I was going to do, because what I was going to do is not that useful. All right. So anyway, my slime spirit is going to attack this guy for one and a muddle. OK. Plus one, two and a muddle. Um, and he gets retaliated against, but he has, oh no, the shield doesn't do anything. So never mind, he's retaliated against. Yep. Um, okay, and then oh, wait, wait. I but am the harrower, in line. The harrower had two shield up also. Oh. Does, your, does your slime guy have pierce? He doesn't, he just, no, but he still so he, muddles him. Yeah, so he's, he's just muddled. Okay. So then, I am abandoning everything I had planned to do, and I'm going to move over one next to the bad guy, next to the Dark Rider. And I'm going to hit him for two. Ooh, and a wound. Oh, wait, is he immune to wounds? He is not. At a plus one. So I hit him for three and a wound. Wounded. And then wound. one, two, three, and a wound. And then I'm going to. Oh, I should have used my bomb. Oh no, wait, it had to be a ranged attack action. Never mind. Um, I'm going to heal my slime guy for two points. And I'm going to how many cards are in here? Or I'm going to use my minor stamina potion and retrieve a couple of cards out of my okay out of my thingy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mama, I'm trying on my slippers and the those are not slippers. Those are bins. Bins. What? Mass chaos is happening behind me. You, you should not walk in those. You'll break them. No. I'm trying to them. I'll put them in the way. Banner, that's not helpful. Are they comfy? Yes. Good. No, Banner! Get out of here. I feel like I should try to take advantage of this guy being there. So I'm going to Use my path of glory. Oh, your what? <laughs> my path of glory. Four or five. So I'm going to move five spaces. Bless everyone who I'm moving through. Oh. I'm move through the slime. One, two, three. Through you. Four or five. Bless, uh, bless uh, friendlies who I'm moving through. Um, Wait, so here's a question though. You have like fly during Path of Glory? Yeah, well, yeah, I do because I'm using my winged shoes. Oh, okay. That was confusing. So um, I give you two bless cards. Okay, I've got them. I'm shuffling them in. And then I'm going to use up the sun symbol that's there and try to whack this guy for four points of damage. Actually, five, but minus one because of my retaliate. That's up. So this is where I whiff. <laughs> <laughs> now there's like five curse cards in my thing. Oh, hey, I got a plus one. <laughs> Yay. So, so for how much? Five points of damage. Nice. One. This is the best we've done to him so far, but cue us now taking massive damage and dying. Yeah, basically. And then I'm going to, shit, I guess I'm going to, um... see, 
See, if I use my healing potion, it won't do anything except for get rid of my poison. Yeah. That really sucks. But then you'll stop taking that extra point of damage. Yeah, but no one's going to, he, he won't go after me this turn. He'll go after you. Well, it's target two. Oh, you're right. It's target two. It's but he can't get out of, he can't get out of disadvantage with you if he's, tar if he focuses on me. It's attack. Because he's Three blocked. plus zero minus one. So it'll be, only be attack two. Right? No, because he's going to move to to try to get out of disadvantage. But he can't. Can he? He can get out of disadvantage with one or the other of us, but not both. Mm -hmm. And then the, that Earth Demon is also going to try to hit you. That's true. He's going to move to attack three. Yeah. Fine. I'll use my healing potion. Just get rid of this poison. Poison. You need like a minor healing potion too to use for potion, to use for poison, and then the major one for actually healing yourself. Yeah. But I don't think I can hold that many items. How many items can you hold? It's like that your level divided by two. What is it? I have three pocket items. Equal to half of your level rounded up. So you're level six, so you can hold three pocket yeah, items. Using, my third one is this moon earring, which uh, is pretty cool, actually. OK. Actually, I'm going to use it right now. Um, to refresh my shield, boots, and chainmail. Oh, yeah, that is pretty good. Uh, I think I am done. OK. Oh, wait, I'm going to use my stamina potion as well. <laughs> Give my cards back. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, so this guy is gonna move two spaces here, I think, because you're yeah. target. And then attack you. So he has three plus two for the movement. So that's five minus one, because that's his ability. Mm -hmm. Oh, he takes a he takes a point of damage though, because he's wounded. Yeah. So four on you. Okay. Plus one. Uh, okay. That sucks. And then tries to hit me at disadvantage. Um, but basically the same amount of damage. So it hits me for four, but at disadvantage, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it draws a times two or a plus zero. So I'll take the plus zero. <laughs> yeah. Four points of damage. Minus my chain mill, that's three points of damage. Minus my tower shield, that's one point of damage. That's it, one point of damage. Okay, that's but he, good. Uh, he doesn't get retaliate because it's range. But he's right next to you. So it's not their type of attack, it's whether they're, they're within my type of retaliate? I think so. Well, then he takes two points of damage. OK. So he's at 13. But he doesn't disappear because he didn't do a melee attack. Right. OK, so now, now it's the Earth Demon's turn. This guy's going to move forward one and hit me for three plus two <laughs> for five. <laughs> God. Oh God, I'll use my chain mail. So it hits me for four. That's it, hits me for four. I'm down to four. I'm down to five, so. <laughs> this earth demon's gonna get retaliated for two points. Okay. 
we just decided this time to go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> I just used a card called Path of Glory. <laughs> <laughs> um, this Earth Demon is going to move two spaces. One, two. And that's it. And now <laughs> it is the next round. And we can back on him some more, hopefully. Oh my god. If only I had low cards. I'm trying to decide whether to like run so that I don't get hit some more or just whack him. He only has 13 hit points. We only have to do 12 to him. Because okay. He take one wound. Okay, I won't run. I'm nervous though. I think I can, I mean, unless I miss, <laughs> I can do like four on him. What if one, two, three, four, five? Ooh. Oh, I, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, I've got 23. I have 13. The harrowers <laughs> move first. They're going to shield up. So they're not doing anything. They're just shielding up. And, and retaliating more. Yeah, if we, if we shoot at them, which we're not going to do. <laughs> well, my guy is, because my guy's stupid. Oh, yeah, you're right. Your guy's going to. Okay. Uh, now it's your turn. All right. I'm moving. Five, one, two, three, four, five over next to D. So that he's right next to me next time he doesn't land a thing, I guess. Um, and then I'm shooting him for three and pierce. Does he even have a shield? He doesn't, so it doesn't matter. So for three and pierce plus zero. So three more points off of him. Wait, was he down to? Okay, yeah, he's down to 10. And oh, I forgot my guy attacks this guy guy for one and muddle. So actually, that was backwards. So one and muddle. So that guy took no damage because he's shielded up, but he's muddled again. And then I shot him for three. Oh, <laughs> times two. I shot him for six. <laughs> two, three. We're gonna kill him. Okay, good, because I have like no health. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty, I'm limping around here too. Um, <laughs> We're just like dragging ourselves around, Ugh, throwing the scenery at him. <laughs> wow. Now I don't know. Well, as soon as he's dead, the scenario is over, right? Mm hmm. So I don't need to like be careful about like saving cards and stuff. Well, I think we're supposed to finish out the turn, but the turn, hopefully the turn doesn't kill both of us. It doesn't look like it should. Yeah, it'll be okay. So oh, my slime spirit, my slime spirit died, I think. Cause they, he had four retaliate, didn't he? Just two retaliate. No, cause he added more retaliate, didn't, or is it not additive? It's just, it's not additive. Okay, just, so yeah, then my slime spirit's not dead. Oh, he's not dead. Not dead. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna attack him for three points uh, if I hit. Plus one. So I attack Yay. him for four points. One, two, three, four. And I cause a sun symbol to appear. Cool. And then I'm gonna attack him again um except that this time it's range so i am at disadvantage um but it's an attack of five minus one because of this thing so it's attack of four and i draw this is probably i'm probably, probably gonna miss i know a heal one a plus one and a heal one or a whiff so it's a whiff 
So now we have to survive another round. So he does live. <laughs> and he's going to disappear and appear right next to me. Oh yeah. my gosh. Darn it, I should have done this. I could have stunned him. Da. Anyways, that was a whiff. Um, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. He's going to die in three turns, though, if we don't do anything, because we have that wound. Yeah, but we have to stay alive for three turns. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> One of us, anyway, has to stay alive for three turns. Okay, the imps are going to strengthen all of their allies within range two. So Great. this guy is not strengthened, and this guy's not. The two heroes are not strengthened. Everyone else is. Okay. Great. I love that. Strengthened. Wait, are all of the imps strengthened too? No. Number 10 is not. Sorry, this guy, this guy over on the edge is not. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the um they also make us muddle. And we're muddled too, so it's a double whammy. No, you're not within range. Oh, oh good. Okay. So, so you're you, muddled. Yeah, I'm muddled, but not you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, and now he does special number one which is move five attack. He doesn't have to move because he's just right next to me, right? Yep. So he attacks me for three plus zero. That's not that bad, three. Yeah, but he's strengthened, so he has advantage. So it could be up to six. Right, but he if I live, he'll take two retaliate and then die next turn. Well, he already, he, he, takes, a, he takes one. Oh yeah, so if I live, he's just going to die. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll retaliate too. Yeah. All right, but first he draws a shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you have cards to discard? Yeah, I do. He draws a two, times two or a negative one. So times two <laughs> would be three Six. times two, right? That's it. Yeah. Six. Six. So I'm, I'm losing a card. <laughs> But, but that's fine. Dead. But then he's dead. Yeah. So losing a card, but he's dead. We won. Dead. Well, we have to we have to survive have to these to earth survive. demons too. We have to survive. Okay. Um the earth demon. This guy is just gonna stay where he is and hits me for for two and a whiff. Okay. This guy's gonna move one space and not do anything. You know, yeah. Yay! Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> so oh, wait, wait, that guy didn't, that didn't necessarily whiff. He has to draw twice. Oh. So plus zero. So he actually hits me for two. But I've but got... you have four, so... Yeah, I'm alive. Woohoo! We can finally read the end text! So apparently hiding in the corner was the wrong move. Apparently you should just try to get him trapped in the middle of the field. I think it was luck though, frankly. Well, we were able to get like four or five hits on him. Yeah. And that wound, I think helped a lot. The wound helped a lot. Are you ready for the conclusion? Yes. The headless specter screams as you land one final strike against it and its form begins to dissipate. Black wisps of smoke escaping from the cracks in its armor. The giant warhorse continues to stomp forward through the clearing, but it ages rapidly before your eyes. Gray hairs sprout feverishly out of its mane and the horse shrinks as, it, as its muscles wane. That's awfully grim for that poor horse. Before it even reaches the edge of the clearing, the horse falls over as its brittle bones give way and with it an empty set of rusted armor. Within seconds, the horse and its rider are reduced to dust. 
Red thorn appears out of the thinning fog. I don't know how you did it, but I can already feel the forest lighten. It will take a long time, but I think the heart of the forest may one day be restored. Um, thank you, the orchid smiles. Come, let me lead you back to civilization. New location is the void, which I think we already had. And we got the global achievement end of corruption. I think that that's the last one we need before we can go to the void. So global achievements, end of corruption. Yeah, we've already got two. So now we have three. And I think this is the last or one of the last. This is the end of the first chapter, maybe? I don't know. The Void, Kill the Gloom. Yeah, I don't. But so here's the thing. There's rewards that are like reputation and prosperity and adding events. So they're expecting you to keep playing through some of the side quests and things. Maybe there's other main quests that we'll find if we play through those side quests, because we've got a bunch of side quests yeah. or alternate quests or whatever. We definitely have not taken taken the um, approved <laughs> the approved line through the story, right. but yay, we did it. Yeah, how much XP do we get for that? Like a reduced amount now. Yeah, it is a reduced amount. It's only eight XP. Eight plus three is eleven. And then I got three. I am two XP off of the next level. Dang it. And I got no gold. Oh, but I did get, nope. I didn't even get my check mark because we just like zeroed in on the bad guys. So we didn't, I, I needed to kill five monsters and I did not kill five monsters. Yeah, and mine was have three or fewer total cards in your hand and discard. That's hard to do. Yeah. Well, the other one was harder, I feel like. The other one was take only long rests during the scenario. Oh, I've done that one. That's actually what I've been successful at. But but you were like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 well, now I would never doubt you. <laughs> but long rests. I didn't even take a single rest. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't take a rest, rest. If you don't take any rest, does this card get effect? Does it take effect? I don't know. I mean, I guess you could argue that you didn't take any short rests. Right, but that's not what it says. It says take only long rests. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't not take any long rest. <laughs> I didn't not do what the card. <laughs> oh, I didn't not do the thing that. <laughs> I feel like if so, if we had done that, not at that super reduced difficulty, we st we would have lost. Oh yeah, definitely. We almost lost anyway. <laughs> Get rid of all these stupid curse cards from our deck. Oh yeah, bye bye curse cards. All right, well that was short. That was short. But I feel like we spent so much time those other times that, you know, it evens out to approximately one, <laughs> one episode. <laughs> I'm just glad we're done with that guy. Although if we come up against any other big bosses, we're in big trouble. There's just no way around it. We're going to be in big trouble soon. Because we're not leveled enough? Because we're, I don't know. It, I guess it depends on the strategy needed. Because there's definitely been ones that like we just breezed right through and then other ones that we just are not breezing through at all. So... I don't know. And I'm still a long ways away from retirement, so it's not like I'm going to suddenly have a different character. 
Yeah, I'm a long way as well. Um, okay, well, that's, well. The, that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. Tune in yeah. next time for the exciting conclusion of our Gloomhaven campaign. Or the exciting <laughs> conclusion of this chapter of our Gloomhaven campaign. Well, we wait for Frosthaven to come out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.